Good evening. This is a series of quick video tutorials on week two activities. The first activity that I have listed is to go ahead and create your folders for the course. And I'm going to do these very quickly because I believe you guys know how to do this. However, uh, it is here. You can rewind, rewind it, excuse me, and relook at it should you need to. So my direction said to within your portfolio, Go ahead and create an SGET 621 folder and then within that folder go ahead and create a new folder called module portfolio. So those folders are now set up. The second thing that was within our work and let me just scroll to the portion where I would like us to look here is I had said in this instruction to grab the instructional design template here. This is going to be the menu for which you use to post all of your projects throughout this course. So in order to grab a online template you're going to go ahead and click into it. Truth is you can actually grab any page off of the internet this way but we're going to do this and look at this as a starting point for our particular work. So currently I am in Internet Explorer and that does not make a difference but what does make a difference is you do need to be able to save this file. So in your directions in the activities to-do list I had suggested that you right click and um, save it that way. But let me go ahead and show you super quick how to save it if you were uh, clicked into it and in Internet Explorer. You can just click on File and then go down to save as and the most important parts of this of course is that you want to place this in the directory that um, you need it to be in. in in this case it needs to be in the uh, your name folder and in your SGET 621 folder but you do not want to save this into your portfolio folder mainly because this is going to be your primary menu for this folder and here's a funny little name down here that I need to overwrite but before I even do that I want to switch over to web page HTML only and then I'm going to go ahead and name this index.html and in my directions I told you to be very sure let me slide this down to be very sure that you're in the correct folder before you do that because you don't want to override any other index. So go ahead and click on save. Okay. 